questions? Yes, sir. All right, let's uh, start with Sean McPherson from KWVA Sports. Verone, we'll two interceptions in the first half tonight. You had one against Ohio State. You already had three for the season, and you know four in 2019 led the Pac-12, or at least had the tie for the lead. What is it about your knack for grabbing interceptions? What What is it that makes you so good at that? Um, honestly, I just feel like I'm a playmaker. I'm always running to the ball, and I understand kind of the projection of where the ball is going to be at the end of it. So either looking up where the receiver's at or kind of where the, the uh, quarterback's throwing it. It's almost like the Dennis Robin when he, like, had a feel for the rebounds. It's kind of the same thing. Ashley Conklin, the register guard. Rune, last uh, two years ago, you guys were one of the nation's best teams at turnovers. Um, last year, you guys kind of fell off in that regard, but now it seems like you guys have picked it back up. Is that something that's been stressed in practice, or what's kind of the mindset, or what's kind of been the reason for all the turnovers so far this season? Um, it's absolutely being stressed. The ball is the program. So we, we know, you know, to be really a dynamic and, and dominant defense, you got to somehow get takeaways and we, we pride ourselves on it. And, you know, we've just started to up it with our aggression, our aggression out in the secondary, as well as getting our hands on balls within the D line and the linebackers. So it's definitely something we emphasize and we want to continue to, to do that. Israel uh, LaRue, Dash Sports. Verone, last week you said you had a dream about a game winning pick against Ohio State. This week you had two picks. Did you have any dreams about those picks this week? Uh, it was funny. I told who is it? I told, so I told Johnny. I said I'm gonna get a pick within the first two drives. So boom, that what happens. And I kept saying I was gonna get two picks. So I feel like it's just manifesting it. It's all God, man. I, I really I've been staying prayed up, and I, I can't take all the credit, but that's really what it is. And I mean, I just want to continue to build on it and keep getting better. At Bream, two four seven Sports. Yeah, Vroom, there's a lot of guys out there playing that either are playing for the first time or probably you weren't imagining playing with in the first team defense fall camp started because of injuries and whatnot. Just can you put it into context just how good this performance was, three straight quarters without t scores and you know, 250 yards of offense? Um, I, it goes to show how well we do with preparing everybody from – the beginning of the week all the way through and how we understand it as we go throughout the week. You have guys out there like Jeff Bassa, and, uh, Brandon Buckner, um, Shipley, just all these guys that, you know, aren't just somebody you always hear about, but guys who are ready to play and have stepped up. So it's just within the preparation of our coaches and then also older guys in those rooms, taking, taking those guys under their wing and being that push, being able to help them, whether they're on the sideline injured or whatever it is. So just all as a collective. James Krapia, the Oregonian. Veron, if you could just walk me through what you saw on each of the interceptions. And on the second one, are you actually glad to have grabbed it because it's at the one, or would you rather have dropped it just because of the field position situation? But can you walk me through each play? Um, the first one, I believe it was all vert. So there was a couple of concepts that I watched in film. And um, I knew that three, whenever it's verts, normally when I see three go over, he's trying to take away, he's trying to get my eyes away from him from two. And two is going to be kind of right up that hash. So I just leaned a little bit to two, expecting it to come there. And boom, there it is. I wish I could have stayed on my feet. The second one, I wouldn't say it was bad because they were still in field goal range. So we were trying to get off the field. We were backed up. So I just, you know, I felt like making a play. And I had missed a tackle on that drive, actually, that I got to clean that up. So I'm, I'm never, you know, I feel like it was make up for that, but I definitely got to clean up that one tackle I missed. But I mean, just going through that, looking at the ball, I leaned to the boundary because he was, his eyes were there. There was a big box fade they're about to throw and then just coming back to it and making a play. Eric Scopel, 247 Sports. What was the mood in the locker room at halftime when you learned that Anthony's hurt and it's going to be the freshman? Does, was there anybody flinching? Kind of what was, what was that like? Zero flinch. He's already, we already knew that Ty was prepared for this moment. Um, he prepares in practice the same way AB does. So he was ready to ride. We knew that our first half could have been better. So we were excited to go back out there and show and play Oregon football at the highest level that we can. And I think we, we what, 31 0 in the second half, and we could have done better. We left some plays out there. So there was no flinch in our, our demeanor. James? To the big picture, Verone, where do you think you guys are entering conference play where coach is talking about it? You know, Line play in the first half was below standard. Travis saying there's nothing satisfying about this win. As much as dominant as it was in the second half, the first half is obviously a little lethargic. Where do you feel like you guys are? Where do you feel like you guys need to improve entering Pac-12 play? 
I feel like we're a team that's not complacent and knows that we can be better and we're chasing perfection. That's that's probably where this team is at right now. And we have a lot of guys that can make a lot of plays that are young, old, offense, defense, special teams. So we're always trying to get better and outperform ourselves from the last performance and always realizing that every game is like the Super Bowl. Every game matters. Every game is the biggest game because it's the next game. But uh, definitely wasn't our our standard and we want to continue to clean that clean things up throughout the week and get better. So going into Pac-12 play, we're excited, we're ready to make plays, we're ready to get better every week and continue to get better and better. We don't want to peak right at the start of Pac-12 play. You want to peak in the middle. You want to play a full season and be getting better and better every game. Last question, Jared Denny, Scoop Duck on three. Hey, Vern, going go back to Ty Thompson. I mean, you see him every day in practice. What does he do that's particularly special? And does he do anything that surprises you for a true freshman? Um, I've seen him make some throws from camp, from spring practice all the way through and make some throws that, you know, not a regular freshman does and pretty good decision maker as well. So him going out there, we fully trusted him and he's prepared for it. And I think that Ty's going to be special even once AB is gone and he's special now. So just continue to build, you know, it's his first real in live game action. So just kind of, you know, shaking things out there, but he, he'll be fine. And we definitely see some special things from him in practice. Thanks, Verone. Appreciate your time. Congrats Appreciate on the win. It. Yes, sir.